Hello there! We're Samuel and Audrey, and we recently embarked on a 10 day trip across Germany. In this video, we're going to be sharing some highlights from that trip, and because we're major foodies, you can expect plenty of wineries, breweries, restaurants, and cafes along the way. So let's kick off this itinerary, shall we? First up was Hamburg, the northern port city. We spent our time here exploring the red brick warehouses of Speicherstadt, touring the working port by boat, and admiring the Elfie from the inside and out. We're really enjoying just walking around, seeing the architecture. Even though it's kind of rainy, I feel like the red brick buildings really stand out. Meanwhile, in the food department, we simply had to try the pickled herring sandwiches, the perfect street snack. Plus, we also had a really fun time sampling and making our own chocolate at Chocoversum. Next, we continued towards Schwerin, and no trip would have been complete without visiting the city's most iconic attraction. We are currently visiting the castle, which sits on an island on Lake Schwerin. It has over 900 rooms, so this castle is pretty massive. It used to be the homes of the Dukes and the Grand Dukes of Mecklenburg. We also climbed the cathedral tower for city views. This climb isn't for the faint of heart, but the views from the top are pretty spectacular. The town of Lüneburg won us over with its Gothic architecture. During our guided walk, we learned how Lüneburg found its wealth through salt during the Middle Ages, and how that has led to some pretty inventive uses for salt. Even salted chocolates. Mm. Of course, we had to climb the water tower for the best panoramic views of the city. The views, like I'm saying, the views are just so spectacular. And fun fact, this is the tallest building in Lüneburg's old town that is not a church. Celle was an architecture lover's dream. Where else can you encounter medieval half-timbered houses, a Baroque castle, and a Bauhaus neighborhood all in one place? We had a fun day visiting the castle along with its private chapel, and then in town we tried a potent yet delightful ginger liqueur. A little cheers. <laughs> <laughs> we also had to try the local specialty, raw roulade, consisting of a raw slice of meat rolled with mustard, bacon, onions, and pickles. That's not bad. Yeah? Wow. Wedlinburg was the picture-perfect medieval town straight out of a fairy tale. This is Germany's largest half-timber town with more than 1,300 timber frame houses and visiting was like being transported back through time. I don't know what I got myself into. Mm -hmm. I ordered the bear's platter and <laughs> it's three big pieces of meat. And yes, we had to make time for dessert too. So creamy. So creamy. Saale und Strut was all about the wine. This is Germany's northernmost wine region and it has vineyards galore. What impresses me the most is just how the vineyards come spilling into the town. Here we visited a Baroque terraced vineyard for a wine tasting and some lunch. So lunchtime and we are having a picnic at a vineyard. How's we, that? Oh, this is amazing. We've got olives, slices of salami, stuffed peppers with cheese. And the star, of course, is the Pinot Blanc, the very famous wine from this area. Let's try that. Plus, we visited a clifftop castle. We saw all sorts of sacred treasures inside Naumburg Cathedral. And we even took part in a forging workshop, which resulted in a pretty cool souvenir. This is going to be taken back to Canada and put to good use. In Leipzig, we joined a food tour and feasted to our heart's content. We tried a varied mix of German dishes as well as international cuisine. Of course, we also had to sample the beer and when you come to Leipzig, you order the Gose. And now we are moving on to the beer. So we have come to Dolden Madel, where we have ordered two different beers. I am trying the Gose. This is an unfiltered wheat beer. It's sour, citrusy, and surprisingly smooth. And for accommodations unlike any other, we stayed in a hotel in a warehouse at the Baumwollspinnerei. Once the largest cotton mill in continental Europe, and now a hive for creatives. I don't think I've ever seen an area anywhere in the world where there's been such a cool repurposing. Like this place is just fascinating. 
Our final destination was Berlin, and joining a bike tour proved to be the perfect way to cover a lot of ground across the city, visiting a mix of major landmarks and lesser known attractions. I think it's going to be a great way to see the city. Yes. We've never explored Berlin on bike before, no. it's always been on foot. We also checked out what was brewing in Berlin's beer scene at Berlo. We sampled everything from Weise to Porter. The beers were great and it was a really fun way to spend the afternoon. And now we are moving on to food, street food. We have joined an evening food tour here in Kreuzberg. Lots of tasty bites were consumed that night and it was a great way to finish off the trip. And that's it for our trip across Germany. We hope this video gave you a few ideas of some of the places you can visit and now wishing you happy travels. Tschüss!